All right, so I just got a box from Thunder Bro. I think, this is what I think it is. I think it's gonna be my new set of Thunder Bands. And so, oh yes, here we go. So here we go, let's so take out what I got here. I've got my three sets of Thunder Bands. Also comes with my super cool Thunder Band carrying case. Holy shit, that looks fucking sweet. Um, and uh, these are awesome. These are all the band tensions you might possibly need to do all of the stuff in our 100 10 minute hypertrophy finishers book. So like if you're looking through it and you're like, okay, cool, the banded push-ups or the banded pull-aparts or the banded resisted dips or all the ways that we utilize bands and dynamic resistance, not just putting them on barbells and dumbbells, but just using them in general to get like really good metabolic stress. Um, we've got all three sets. The, uh, the stronger sets are used for more compound heavy pulling movements. So this would be for squatting, deadlifting variations. The light and moderate sets are gonna be for upper body movements like band assisted pull-ups or band resisted dumbbell presses. Um, so they all come kind of all in one set together. Everything you would need for both the uh, 90 day Get Huge program where we're actually using bands as substitutes for cable work. Um, easily hit, uh, like hang up good enough to things like uh, pull up racks um, or using things like PVCs to supplement for cable work, just attaching them to bands, things like banded lat pull downs, tricep press downs, hamstring curls, you name it. Um, and then all the fun 10 minute finishers where we love using those because they're so effective for pushing blood into muscles. So get yours today, Thunderman. All right, so I'm just uh, looking at these Thunder Bands and I love, like they've got some really cool things I didn't even notice. Like we've got our Thunder Bands embroidered on them. And it also tells you the band tension, which is really nice. So, you know, like if you're doing say something like a, uh, a banded hammer curl, you know that the tension is gonna range from 25 to 65 pounds, maybe 25 pounds at the bottom, 65 pounds up top. Um, and that's the cool thing about variable resistance is that the level of resistance changes as you gain a mechanical advantage during the movement. So when I'm extended, when I'm mechanically weakest, I have the least amount of tension. And as my muscle contracts and shorten, I gain an advantage, the tension starts to go up, allowing things like peak muscle tension, really cool stuff for, for muscle growth. So neat. And over here, we got the purple ones. So these are 35 to 85 pound bands. So I think for something like this, this would be good. Like you might hook up a band like this onto maybe say, something like a band resisted deadlift where you can hook this up to the ends of the collars and just step on the band and really when we use band resistance what we're thinking about uh, as we place them on top of weights is taking about 10% of your one rep max so you know if you've got like let's say a 500 pound deadlift a band like this would be perfect because it ranges between 35 and 85 pounds that's gonna be mostly around 10% of your one rep max when you're uh, when you're deadlifting and then the heavy dogs here these are monsters and uh, I like these, like the really big ones. What I'll do with these is I'll use them for movements like the lat pull downs. So what I'll do is I'll hook the band up to the rack and then I'll just string a PVC pipe through the band and that's gonna give me resistance anywhere from 50 to 125 pounds. So let's say if I'm doing, you know, three sets of 30 banded lat, uh, lat pull downs, this would be the perfect resistance band to just place on a PVC or a training bar um, and you can just kind of lie or sit on the floor and do your lat pull downs like that. So really cool stuff here. So one of the biggest pieces of feedback we've gotten on our online programs and books is people just having access to the equipment. We try to make it as simple and easy as possible. And they're always asking us, hey, I don't have bands, or if I do have bands, what type of bands do I need? So we made it simple. We picked the three bands that are gonna give you the most bang for your buck for all the movements we do. And the reason why we use bands so much is because number one, they're such a fantastic substitution for cable work. A lot of us don't have access to big machines, lap pull down machines, try the press down machines, you name it, hamstring curl machines. And in a CrossFit gym, which is a functional gym that usually has barbells and open space, we can do a lot of substitution with bands for some of these movements that have a lot of utility in terms of hitting specific aspects of muscles or working on some really specific things um, that are important. So for say something like a hamstring curl, you could substitute a band like this for a banded hamstring curl. Um, and that's a really fantastic tool. Oftentimes we'll superset that or use hamstring curls as 
pre-fatigue methods um, as we kind of pair them with other movements. Um, even things like tricep press downs, right? So like very few people have access to maybe a machine where they can grab a rope and do some tricep press downs, which is such a good tricep developer. You can easily replicate that with a band. And instead of going out and feeling like you have to buy lots of bands in a very expensive way, we just did the thinking for you. We picked the three best ones, packaged them, give instructions on how to use them in our books and in our programs. And we price them for a lot cheaper. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. You get exactly what you need. And if you have a home gym, if you train in a CrossFit gym, or even if you're in a Globo gym, they're really a must for a, a complete effective training program. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, like I got lots of different types of bands at my gyms, thick ones, small ones, even the chains here for dynamic resistance. I love using them. I think they have so much utility in training. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I use my bands when I'm in the gym and also where and when I use them when I'm traveling. So uh, with my Thunder Bands, what I'll do is first, like even to warm up, I'll take a thick band and I'll start to use it for things like mobility. One of my favorite things to do for my shoulders, cause I got some real cranky shoulders, is I'll do things like banded shoulder distractions where I loop the band through a pull-up bar, just stick my hand through the, the loop and I like to double it up for a little extra tension. And then I'll just come back and lean into the shoulder and let it open up. This is a great way, if I lean to the side, I get into my lat. If I lean forward, I can work on opening up my shoulder and just uh, unloading the capsule in the shoulder. So for upper body days, I usually always start with that. Also for upper body days, when we start doing our prehab, we almost always have some type of form of a banded external rotation for the shoulder, or even things like banded pull-aparts just to get the shoulders, the rotator cuff, even the scapula and the rhomboids working um, to get the shoulders warm and heated up. Um, if it's a lower body day, I'll often use these things to open up my hips. So I'll do things like I'll stick it through the rack and I'll just loop it through to the back of my hamstring and use this as a way to open up my hip flexor. So it's kind of pulling the femoral head forward as I lean back a little bit and just let my hip flexor open up. I really love that one. You can also do the same ones, keeping it on there for say something like a piriformis stretch where you can have the band distracting the femur out to the side and you can do say something like a pigeon stretch where you're opening it up that way, even a hamstring stretch where you're gonna now have it forward where you can work on opening up your hamstring. So uh, even just for warming up, they have a lot of uh, utility there, okay? This is just kind of movement prep type of stuff. So when I'm traveling, I don't always have access to a really great gym, but almost in every hotel that I've stayed at, there will usually be a set of dumbbells going up to 50s. And with a set of bands, you can really create some challenging workouts for yourself, even with just 50 pound dumbbells. In fact, a lot of the stuff we do with our finishers, even a lot of the pumpy work we do in muscle anarchy um, will involve light dumbbells with say band assistance. So let's say I wanna do say something like an RDL, like a Romanian deadlift at the hotel, but I only have 50 pound dumbbells. Well, what you can easily do is start to manipulate the tension you have on your hamstrings by adding a band to those dumbbells. So all I'm gonna do is string one hand of the dumbbells through each, uh, through the bands, and then I can step on the band. When you do this, if you're using it for say something like a deadlift, I'm gonna have you put the band on the back of the bells, and then you're gonna grab the front of the bells. And this is enough to add a pretty good amount of resistance. If say you're doing something like RDLs, on top of weight. You can do the same thing and say something like a floor press with dumbbells, right? So I would just be lying on the floor, I would either grab the bells or have somebody hand them to me, and then I'd be able to press them with a lot of extra tension on it. Or if you didn't wanna do that with any upper body pressing movements, an easy substitute is to first just put the band on like a backpack so it's right across the upper part of your arms. I just have it in my palm, and now I can grab my dumbbells and I can do presses. And of course, one of my favorite things to do is the band-resisted push-ups, three sets to failure, really effective. So the point here is, with minimal equipment, you can get a great workout. You can still get a lot of work. All you need is a set of dumbbells, maybe some bands. And that's just for the sake of traveling, utility, um, if you're limited with access to a, a fully functioning gym. All right, so I'm gonna show you some of my other moves that we do with the bands. And again, this is limited equipment. I got my band and a PVC pipe. This is a substitute for a lat pull down. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna string the band through a pull-up bar. 
And this is the heavy band, so it's the one where we've got, uh, let's see, it's 50 to 125 pounds of, uh, of band tension. Then I'm just gonna string the, the band through, right in the middle, and from here, I just take a seat on the floor. So you'll be sitting down on the floor, and you're gonna grab the ends of the PVC pipe, and now what we'll do is like high rep with variations. So I might do something where I'll do 10 wide grip pull downs into 10 narrower grip pull downs into 10 underhand pull downs or even sets of 30, depending on how much you want to do. You can do variations behind your neck. And if you come up right now, you can even parlay this into say something like a tricep press down. So because now we're a little bit higher, there isn't as much tension on the band, I could get a really good substitute for a tricep press down. That's actually a pretty good amount of tension where you're able to kind of recreate that type of thing. You could do the same thing if it was attached to the ground with a bicep curl, but here's my number one favorite bicep curl variation with the bands is banded hammer curls. So with the banded hammer curl, you just step on the band, you grab it with your thumb over the top, and you can get your hammer curls in just like this. And we'll do workouts like 300 hammer curls and 300 tricep extensions, and that's real pumpy. So the cool thing about this travel kit is, you know, you've got your three sets of bands here. You can just kind of shove it in the bag, in your Thunder bag. And uh, you could even, if you wanted to, throw your one of your books in there and you're good to go. So you put this thing in your backpack or your carry-on luggage and no matter where you are, you can get a real good workout. Um, you can find all this stuff at thunderbro.com or you can just go to the link in my bio and follow those. Also with our books and our programs. But uh, the point with all this stuff is to give you guys easy access to the most effective equipment that we know about that's gonna have wide application and just allow you to do our programs a little better and get the results that you guys deserve.